Okay, this is part two. The guy, he took me to my mother's house. And as we was pulling up in the yard, he gonna say, uh, can I come and see you tomorrow? I don't know if he was trying to be manipulative or he was a guy crazy. I really don't know. But anyway, this is what he said. So I'm being cool. I say, sure. And he said, okay. So I got out of the vehicle and I went in. And that is when I told my sister, you know, what happened. And me thinking, you know, the way I was thinking, because I told you I was 18 years old. I'm feeling like the adults, I couldn't tell no adult because the adults was going to blame me for getting in the vehicle with the guy, you know, not knowing him, which I did. It was my fault, you know, for getting in the vehicle with him. But the reason I got in the vehicle with him is because of my classmate. And she is a cool girl, and I've been knowing her for a while. And, you know, she's nice and everything. So, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, if she nice, then he nice. You know what I'm saying? I was wrong, but that's the way I was thinking. So I want to let you young ladies know, please, do not take a chance getting in the vehicle not with just somebody that you don't know because see it might be your brother friend it might be somebody who know one of your family members and you think you know them well enough to get in the vehicle with them but please don't do it don't walk with them don't do nothing with them because you don't know these people you don't know the evil in their mind and the young lady what uh, the young lady was telling me about this weekend. They said a lady lowered her off. So she, I don't know if she thought she knew the lady or did she know her or what. But this is, you know, this is the way it went. And I just want to, you know, let you young ladies know that it's not your fault when something negative happened like that. But, you know, you just be more careful about getting in vehicles with people you think you know because you really don't know people like you think you do i know a story where this uh, guy was best friend with this other guy and he was taking the guy over to his mother's house you know the mother was feeding him just like he was doing him because they supposed to be best friend where the guy went out of town and the guy came over to the, to the mom's house while he was gone and the mom opened the door and let him in because she thinking, you know, that's his best friend. I feed him in a way or whatever. He gets in there and he has his way with the mother. And he also wind up deceasing her. And he stayed in the house long enough that the son came home and caught him running out the door. Can you imagine how that son felt? I brought you around my mother. My mother fed you and everything, and you did that to her. But ain't nothing you can do about it after it done happened. So, ladies, please, 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 I'm begging you, do not take a chance with your life getting in vehicle with people. Think You think you know them because they know your family. That is very dangerous. And also, I just want to say that God loves you. And so do I. And you have a blessed day.